So in this case, we have another question to consider on our power supplies is of the question of April 2023 exam. Uh, considering the first part of a voltage reference circuit, I talked about this uh, in our introduction of the voltage reference. Uh, so make sure that you go through that so that you understand where a Zener diode is used as a shunt regulator. So you are given on 2.1 a voltage reference circuit of an instrumentation control system. Yes, the following specifications. Okay, the value that is affecting the Zener diode use, the, uh, the Zener diode uses the 10 volts and also the power. This is across the Zener. So we are given the voltage across the Zener, which is 10 volts, and the power across the Zener, which is 600 uh, milliwatts. That is the power. The supply voltage Vs, which is our input, can be taken to be 150 volts. According to this guys, this is actually too much, the voltage that you're given there. Anyways, this is a question, it's a calculation. So use what you're given in exam, no matter how big the value is. Uh, so there we are given plus or minus one, plus or minus. The moment that this is given, it affects, like I said, guys, that you have the minimum and the maximum in, in terms of the input. So the input can be maximum where you have to add the plus. So it's 150 plus one, which is going to be 151 volts. You have to add plus, then the minimum of the input, when it is on the minimum, you have to subtract, there's a minus. So it's gonna be 150 minus one, which is going to give us uh, 149 volts. So this is what we have having Vn maximum and having Vn minimum. How are we going to determine or calculate 2.11, the minimum value of series resistor? RS minimum. How are we going to have this value? Okay, I talked about this, uh, like I said, but in terms of your revisions, since this is a question paper, guys, I'm going to also introduce you to the formula sheet so that you see that these formulas you're also given, what you just need is to make sure, apply your formulas properly. So RS mean can be calculated from Vn max, must be maximum that you're using, minus Vz, the voltage across the zone over Iz maximum. So this is the formula that we have. Where Iz maximum is that current across the zone which is taken from the power over the voltage. This is the one that we have here. That is our Iz max maximum zena current so this is what you just need just like that this is what you need so let's take uh the, these formulas as we saw that uh from this uh formula one okay so let's consider this 2.11 so i'm just gonna have my calculation here so we saw that the first thing uh from our formula is rs is given as rs min is equal to that is vn max which is the maximum that you're considering minus uh, vz over what over iz max so that is the condition of rs min where the iz that we are seeing here the zener current to be maximum we consider this from where from the power and voltage of the zener diode so that's PZ over VZ. The power is given 600 uh, milliwatts times 10 to the exponent of negative three over the voltage, which is 10. So guys, I want you to see here a simple uh, calculation that you can simply do because the 10 to the exponent of minus three, this one, it represents the milli already. It's already like milliwatt, whatever that you have. So it means you just divide these two, okay? Just cancel, remain with what? 60. So it's 60 times 10 to the power of minus three, which is 60 milliamps because it's current. Just like that. Or you can just divide, guys, the normal way that you're used to. Then you write your answer. It's going to be uh, 0 0.06 amps. Still one of the same thing, guys, which is your 60 milliamps. So with this, we are going to just substitute. That's our RS min. 
is going to be given uh, V in max or maximum V in because it's controlled plus or minus. So it can be maximum, it can be minimum. So you're going to add one. That's going to be 151 minus VZ across the zener is 10 over what? The current that you have across the zener, which is the one that you call the 60 milliamps. 60 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3. So that is the idea. This was going to give us uh, 2,350 ohms. So this is because of this value, guys. I think they wanted to use a 15 instead. Yeah. So it was supposed to be something like a 15, not 150. That value is too much. But according to the value that you, this is what you have. So you don't change an exam to suit your answer. You just work with what you are given there. So that is how you're going to end up with uh, the minimum resistance in this case. So our RIS minimum was going to be 2350 uh, ohms. With this, we can calculate the second part. The second uh, part is the minimum load, the minimum value of the load resistor at the, at the load, what is going to be the minimum, okay? So also you're given this, guys, if you have forgotten your formulas, uh, consider your formula sheet. That is the only frame that you'll be having in exam. So you must consider that. So RL minimum can now be obtained from this formula. Where RS, this one, the RS is RS minimum that you calculated here. So it's already calculated. So all these values are there. It is just a matter of uh, substituting into into the formula that we are given. We have everything, RIS minimum, we calculated this. Okay, so that is going to be uh, RIL. So this is RIL minimum, which is taken from VZ, the voltage of the Zener, over V in minimum. So you use the minimum voltage minus VZ, and you're gonna multiply this to what? To RIS which is the minimum resistance that we calculated before. So that was your condition uh, of the question. So that was gonna give us uh, RL minimum, which is from our VZ. Uh, this was 10. VN minimum, the VN, which is minimum is 149. So that's 149 minus VZ, which is 10 times RS min. The one that we just calculated our RS min, which was 2000. Uh, 350. So this is one, we calculated this before. So by multiplying this, simplifying everything, that was going to give us RL minimum, which is 169.065 uh, ohms. So that was the condition of your question according to the values that you are given there. Then on this other part of the question, they want you to label each regulator you're given, fig 1A and B. Below shows two versions of integrated uh, 7812 regulators commonly used. Label each regulator by draw, by naming, which is writing only the answer next to the number one, two, three. Okay, so you'll be given 2.1, then they'll give you one, two, three. Just gonna write as it is. So the first one, uh, the one there for this one is our input. Remember, this is where you have the input. And the middle part, which is the two, is going to be the ground or the common. So this is your ground or the common. Then the third part is your output. So this is going to be your output according to this uh, version uh, of a regulator. Then according to TO3-7812 uh, uh, regulator, the one that we are going to be seeing as our input. So the one is our input, this one. It's going to be the input, whereas the two is the output now. And the three is our ground that becomes the ground. So you must be able to know the difference between these two. All right. Then 2.3, draw a neat label circuit diagram of a basic uh, series control circuit. What is it that you are given on a basic series control circuit so uh a basic series control circuit guys you can just have as you can see guys they just need something that is simpler just gonna have 
our transistor. So we're just going to have this connection with our transistor. Okay, let's just open here and to the load resistor just like that. So this is just a basic uh, presentation that you can just have in that case. So for four max, so that's the load resistor. And there we have got our transistor. You can write T, you can write Q to represent your transistor. And this is at the input, just like that. 2.4, name two types of regulators in power supplies, two max for two types. So we can work uh, in this case with the series voltage regulator. Remember there's this part that we had uh, the series voltage regulator. So you can work with the series uh, voltage regulator, but it must have an amplifier, this one, with an amplifier. Okay, with amplifier. Because we can have also a series voltage regulator, but this one is going to be having adjustable reference uh, source. So you can have a series uh, voltage regulator but this one it is supposed to be with adjustable so it must be adjustable reference source okay so this is what you are going to have on this one uh, this one is going to have an amplifier and the last uh, that you're going to also have the shunt voltage so you can also have a shunt voltage regulator so in actual sense the two that you're supposed to have is just a series and what shan series and shan just like this but on the series they can differ to say it can be a series with an amplifier it can be a series with adjustable reference but in normal sense you is supposed to be, it's supposed to be uh, the series and the shan just like that so this is what we had guys as our revision for power supplies as you can see it's not that much you just need your basics, uh, your revisions, you with your formula sheet also uh, go through the introductions. I talked about some of these explanations uh, separately. So it will be important that you do check those uh, videos, at least for the understanding of the introduction part that you are working with uh, before the question papers. Till we meet again.